Hey YouTube, <clears throat> it's been a while. <clears throat> what we're gonna do today, we're gonna make some rocket stoves, okay? We're gonna get as much as this today as we can. So what we have here, this is a fuel chamber. We have it notched, see how we're notching it? See how they're notched, we're notching like that because that's the way they're gonna sit. And then you'll see we're using the plasma to cut everything because it's a lot quicker. <clears throat> so I'm gonna set you up on the time lapse and you can watch us. We'll see, we'll see how much of this we can get. We have our drag tip on here for the plasma cutter.
right, y'all. So there's there, this here's why we cut it. Here's the 45. This is the fuel chamber. And then that's what ties in that. I like to leave a little meat right here. Okay, y'all, in this clip right here, there was a little bit loud. We had a bunch of noise in the background. So right here, those are our ash pans. And then those are the, it's like a screen when you set your wood inside of the rocket stove. So I'm showing you that's the damper door right there. That's the fuel door before we bend it. That's the ash pan right there before we bend it. And then that's another one right there showing you the relief lines right there because I don't have a brake, so I bend everything manually. So that's that. That's it in this clip. There's one right there. There's the ash pan right there after I bent it. And then uh, that's part of the rocket stove right there. And then I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's the that's showing the inset for the damper door on that one. So yeah, and then we're pretty good right there. And then in this clip right here, I think what we're doing is we're clamping everything up and getting everything ready. You can see my bald spot on top of my head. I apologize, guys. I've been using this hair oil. It's been helping my hair grow and come back really strong. But seeing that one bald spot, just freaking, you know. So anyways, right here, we're bending it up. You can see I got the hammer. I have it clamped to the table. I think it's a fuel door is what I'm bending up. And you can see my shirt shaking because of the strokes of the hammer. You know what I mean? So on that one we'll go ahead and let you see what, what what else is going on this video should be pretty clear so thank you okay y'all i guess on these videos the the audio was terrible i had a what do they call the um where they knock off the um a deburn machine going and all you can hear is it rattling but anyways this is the ash pan right here we're breaking up so we're going to get in the ash pan all bent up for the rocket stove y'all just clamped it to the edge of the table and hammered in the 90 right there where I showed you guys earlier on the relief cuts for the metal because I don't have a break yet so that's what we did on that one then right here I'm just showing you for the rocket stove if you guys want plans for these rocket stoves to build I will be more than happy to give them to you we have a website that's uh, getting made right now i'll give you guys the link to the website in a future video and then you guys could download the plants for absolutely free you know it's just a simple rocket stove <clears throat> we are on tiktok if you guys want to follow us on tiktok we do uh we go live every night on every other night i apologize but anyways here what we got going on right here these are Oh, these are for the top of the rocket stoves right here, y'all. The cross tops where you set your pans on. So we're going to get right, those all ready and put together. So we're let's figure this out. Style there. I changed my mind. We're going to go ahead and just go back with the fucking doors. Not that I want to. But here's the handles. Here's the half inch, three eighths inch coat roll. We're going to bend that. Put the handles on. Um, we'll show you guys when we get there. So we're gonna go ahead and get all the holes drilled right now for the doors, and then um, we'll show you. So y'all, the joy of having two drill presses, the pipe hole. guys saw, I don't know if I recorded this, we got all the attachments done. Now we see we got one tacked up right here. Um, we're gonna tack up these other ones, we're using our fireball clamps. We're gonna put you guys on high speed so you guys can see us so we can get the rest tacked up a little bit.
y'all. There it is. The saw is put it together. It's welded up. This is the, the air door for the fuel. This is for your fuel chamber. It's hot. This is for you put your pans. This is your handle to carry it. And this is your ash pan. There it is, y'all. Four inch rocket stove. This is 14. That's 12. And hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. The bottom is 12. The fuel chamber, this one, is 9. And this is 14. 15 with the top. 15 with the top. And then. We're gonna make our pyramid tops for it too.